the law of cosine is used when you have a triangle and you're given side angle side. Get your foldables out and start a new tab for law of cosines. Make sure you write down that we use law of cosines when it's side angle side. This is used to find a side opposite the angle you're given. So let's do an example. Let's say this angle here is 50 degrees. And we make up a couple numbers here. Let's say this side over here is six inches and maybe 10 inches. And you wanna find the side that's across from it. Maybe let's put some letters on here. The side across would be little a. And we're given, we're given little b and little c little a is equal to the square root of b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times the cosine of the angle a. An easier way to do this is just remember that the, you're given two sides. That's always going to be your first part here. These are the sides, right? Side one and side two, side one and side two, and always your angle that's in between those two sides goes there at the end. So we type this into our calculator, big long square root, six squared plus 10 squared minus two times 6 times 10 times cosine of 50. Make sure that your calculator is set to degrees before you type it in. All right, so our answer is about 7.67. Let me round it off. <clears throat> Let's try a couple more examples. Okay, here we know we're, we're gonna use law of cosines because we have a side angle side. Side angle side tells me to use law of cosines. To find the side that's across from our angle, in this case again it's little a, we have 10.5 squared plus 20.5 squared minus 2 times 10.5 times 20.5 times the cosine of 110.6. Okay, make sure you're checking twice before you hit enter on your calculator. That's a lot to type in. Make sure you've got both the sides and they're squared. And then here it's also both the same two sides. Right, side. And the angle at the end. After the cosine.
So about 26.11. This one says round to the nearest tenth. So A is about 26.1. Okay, again, we use this when it's side, angle, side. We use it to find the side that's across from the angle. So on this next example, we would have a big long square root, little a is equal to twenty four squared plus 16 squared minus 2 times 24 times 16 cosine of 121. So about 35.03, if we go to the nearest tenth, it's just 35. If we round it off to the nearest tenth. Okay, so back to our example here. The formulas, I guess you can say there's three formulas when you're given side, angle, side, if you want to find little a, you do the square root of the other two sides. And if you want to find little b, you're going to have a squared plus c squared. Oh, oh I messed up that first one, didn't I? My bad. To change that. And if we want to find C, okay, the, the angle at the end is always the angle that's across from the side you're looking for or it's the angle in between the two sides that you're given so basically it's just the two sides you're given is your sides and the angle that's in between those two sides goes in the cosine 